really excited about this week. Really excited about um, personally about the chance to, to get back to Nebraska to compete in the NCAA tournament. Um, and even more excited to, to show the rest of the country what we've been building here at Ole Miss and, um, and how special our team is and hopefully make, make a little bit of a tournament run. Um, the, the turnaround from last year, last season to this season has been incredible. And um, I'm very proud of our players for the work they've put in um, and they've 100% earned this moment. So I'm excited for us to go out and compete again and uh, show the NCA what we've got. Michael, you want to start us off? Yeah, hey, Kayla, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I mean, how, how do you, I don't know if there's a succinct way to do it, but how do you sum up a 20-game a turnaround? And I, I guess what was your, your, your timeline when you took this job in terms of when you thought something like this might happen? Um, Sasha earmuffs, but this was definitely not my timeline. Um, I was not quite expecting this quickly or this quick of a turnaround. Um, so when you really look at it, it's, it's insane. Um, you know, what we've done. And I told the girls this the other night, but it's, it's, it could be, you know, one of the greatest turnarounds in sports. Like it's just, it's insane. Um, so it's definitely way ahead of schedule, um, where I thought we would be at this point. Um, I was, I was hoping we would, we'd be able to finish top half of the SEC. Um, so we've exceeded that expectation, obviously. Um, and then making the tournament is, is huge as well. So, um, you know, there's a couple of factors that kind of go into it. We had a lot of new faces this year, including, you know, some experience at the setter position and little barrel position. Um, so that, you know, brought us some stability. Um, and then we also, we kind of just had to revamp our offense a little bit from last year to this year. Um, you know, what we were doing offensively last year just didn't really work. So we kind of had to go back to the drawing board and, and figure out, okay, how are we going to, how are we going to score points on teams and how are we going to make our offense work? We have such gifted athletes and, um, really big physical hitters, um, and now an experienced setter. So how can we make, how can we use all these pieces and, and, and make this work offensively? Um, so I thought we did a great job with that. And obviously we, we set a record this year of, of team hitting percentage on a season. So, um, that turnaround has been great as well. Michael, you can keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I was, I'm just curious, like, was there a moment when you kind of saw this within your team? I know some, you know, for football, sometimes they see it in spring practice or whatever. Was there a moment when you thought that this would be possible with this squad? Um, there was a, there was a few moments, um, you know, when we beat Western Kentucky, it was, it was kind of like, Oh, Oh, wow. Okay. We're doing this, um, type of moment. Um, but then there's been some other matches this year, um, you know, taking Kentucky five and, and very nearly pulling off that upset. Um, you know, we were in a, in a position to, to sweep Mississippi state. Um, so those are the kind of moments where I'm, you know, as a coach, I'm thinking, okay, this team is capable of a lot. Um, it's just a matter of, of how do we get over that hump? Nick. I know you probably don't need extra motivation when it comes to the postseason, but what exactly do you guys, do you say to the team? How, how do you kind of motivate them for, for something they haven't experienced before? Um, I don't, I don't think they need any extra motivation, <laughs> any extra motivation for playing in the tournament. Um, I think the message is it's, we earned our spot here. There's, there's nothing special we did, or there's, you know, there's nothing special we have to do this weekend. Um, we just have to keep doing what we've been doing all year and that's playing consistent, good volleyball and working hard every day in the gym. Um, so there, I don't think there's any special message. I don't think there's any special motivation. It's just, all right, we, we got here by doing what we do every day by doing, by playing almost volleyball. And, you know, we don't have to do anything more. We don't have to do anything less. Like we just have to keep being ourselves and keep, keep playing almost volleyball um, because that's, what's got us here. Back to Michael. I know some teams kind of pick up the demeanor or, or the mindset of, of a coach or a player. What, what, what would you say is this team's sort of mindset and who do they kind of pick that up from? Is it kind of modeled after you? Is it after a team leader? What, what, what is kind of the, the MO of this team? 
Um, I, I think they pick up their mindset from each other. Um, maybe it's me a little bit. Um, but I think they, honestly, I think they feed off of each other mostly. Um, you know, they, they're a group that wants to have fun. They're a group that want, they want to enjoy playing together. And I think that's amazing. And, and they pick up those vibes from each other. Um, and, you know, I think that's pretty obvious, you know, they, they pick it up from our leaders, our captains, they pick it up from, you know, maybe a couple of girls on our teams who would be considered like, you know, the jokesters or, you know, whatever you want to term that. Um, but they're, they're a group that wants to have fun and they feed off of each other with that type of energy. We'll go to Evie and then David, if you have any questions. Hi coach. Um, my daughter actually played setter at Ole Miss back in the day. So I'm always interested in the setters. Um, how, how has your setter helped you get to where you are this season? I mean, what, what all, I know what she's done physically, but just what are her leadership traits that have helped this team? Um, yeah, Kylie is a, a fierce competitor. Kylie wants to win um, and she knows how to win. So bringing that type of mindset um, into our gym has been amazing. She's also very poised in, you know, big moments. So to have that type of poise, that type of calm um, on an otherwise, you know, somewhat ex inexperienced team still, it has been huge. Um, and then, you know, her volleyball IQ is elite. So knowing when to set what in what situations and who's hot, who's not, um, how does our offense work against their defense? Like just that type of high level volleyball IQ has also brought us to the next level. Um, so, I mean, Kylie in, in every aspect has been, has been huge in, in her experience, her knowledge, her, her energy, her drive, like all of these intangibles are, are things that, um, have, have boosted us to the next level. Thanks. David. I oh, finally figured out how to raise my hands. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate that. Um, so, um, Kayla, just curious, does Creighton compare to anybody you guys have faced in the SEC this year? Um, that's a great question. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure they have. They or they do. Um, they have, you know, two very strong pin hitters, which a lot of SEC teams do. So um, a lot of their offense comes through their pin hitters. Um, which is, you know, similar to a lot of teams, you know, similar to Arkansas, similar to, you know, state, whoever it is. Um, but, you know, to be honest, like I'm about to have my, my scout meeting with my staff here in 20 minutes. So um, if you ask me that question in 20 minutes, I'll probably be able to give you a better answer. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things that they do that we've already seen this year, which is will be helpful in, me in terms of game, uh, game planning. You talk about being ahead of schedule and, uh, you know, you, you've called this a great turnaround, which obviously it is, but was there a time when you got here that you looked around and you went, oh my, I'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed. How are we going to get this done considering where the program was when you inherited it? Um, I don't know that there's been one specific moment where I've been overwhelmed, Um I know that a lot of people have been working very hard for this program for the past two years. And, um, you know, when you invest as much as we have and you work as hard as we have, then there's going to be a lot of days that, that feel exhausting and overwhelming. Um, but never a moment where I thought, you know, I don't know if I can do this or anything like that. I always had confidence that we were, we'd be able to, to get Ole Miss on the right track. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, working hard and grinding it out every day and, and, you know, fighting for what the vision is. So you mentioned you are ahead of schedule. Um, how far ahead of schedule are you in year two here? Um, you know, I, I envisions, you know, a, a fifth place finish in the SEC, maybe in year three or four, um, was hoping for a tournament berth in year three. Um, so we are ahead of schedule, um, maybe just by a year or two in my, what my timeline was. Thank you. 